Happy Friday, my name is Daniel Celeste and I'm coming to you from the McMaster Immunology Research Center where I'm going to show you what a day in the life is like for a researcher in the Miller Laboratory. So here you can see white blood cells. The blue is standing for DNA and then when you see the blue and the green stains mix, that's meaning that the DNA has been released outside of the cell and the cells have undergone a process called netosis. Neutrophils release neutrophil extracellular traps, which is DNA coated with enzymes, and it helps your body trap and kill a various number of pathogens, such as bacteria, viruses, and fungi. I live in this microscope room. Hi, my name is Ali, and I'm a PhD student in the Miller Lab. Today, we're going to take a look at how we grow viruses. Over here is our chicken egg incubator, as you can see. Got a whole bunch of eggs. And we'll... to check how the eggs are doing, we just shine the flashlight under the egg. And you can see here, this is the embryo, and the blood is being supplied by these blood vessels right here. Hi, my name is Peter. I'm in my third year studying the Bachelor of Health Sciences program. And my project in the Miller Lab uses the CRISPR-Cas9 system to create cell models to study several neurodegenerative diseases. So each of these flasks contain a specific deletion in the gene that uh, we're trying to study. Um, so it allows us to better study the function of that specific protein. So to measure the amount of DNA in each of these samples, I'm just going to take them and load them all into this plate. Next, I have to tell the computer which gene I'm looking for in each sample, along with what each sample means so it knows what I'm trying to detect. Now, it doesn't really look like there's anything in here, but I'm going to put the plate into this machine, which is going to cause a bunch of reactions to start and this will allow the machine to measure how much target DNA is in each of my samples. Okay, so my experiment is done now, and the result I get is these lines that are each showing the relative amount of the gene that I'm interested in in each sample that I tested. One of the major focuses of our research is to try and overcome the limitations of current seasonal vaccines by harnessing what we know about the immune system to make drugs and vaccines that will protect us against all strains of flu, including pandemics. ALS, or Lou Gehrig's disease, is a devastating neuromuscular condition for which there's currently no effective treatments or cures. Although we know genetics play a role in disease, we know very little about the genes that are actually involved. In addition to genetic factors, environmental insults like infections may contribute to disease onset and progression. Our group is trying to understand how infections might do this in order to develop better strategies to treat or cure ALS.